It's an industry dilemma. No sooner is a TBM operation at its peak than final breakthrough is approaching in the future of the skilled crews, the sophisticated machinery, and the experienced management team is questioned. Must all disband? Or is there a follow-on project for the assembled expertise? Jens Klassen of the award-winning Highway Tunnel Project in Italy explains how the Sparvo investment is ready for redeployment. It's a highway project between Bologna and Florence. It's uh, the busiest highway in Italy and the most important. This is actually the first tunnel in Italy that's built by a TBM on, a, in the, on the highway system. Originally, the project was uh, conventional tunneling, and due to some geological challenges, we changed it to uh, TBM drive. That was mainly because of the methane gas in the, a couple of la active landslides above the tunnel. Mechanized tunneling and a precast segmental lining was promoted as being safer and more assured of steady progress for the twin tunnel drives and closed-faced EPB technology was selected. Well, it's uh, Herrenknecht TBM. It was at the time the largest TBM in the world with a diameter of 15.62 meters, and it did two times two and a half kilometers. Uh, the inside uh, dimension will be three lanes of 3.75 meters. So that will be the future also of all other uh, Italian highways. They will be all in this range of dimension. Cost for the machine was uh, 65 million euros. It wasn't written off completely uh, on this project. You can't ride a machine like that off on five kilometers. So we're looking forward to doing more of these uh, job sites with this machine. The trail is the backup. The bearing is more or less brand new. It's a, it's a working system and it's a well working system. And so we're looking at bringing exactly this machine onto the next job. It would most likely be highway. Uh, it's too big for a railway tunnel, even a, a two-track railway tunnel, which usually you need a machine of 12, 30 meters at maximum. This machine is 15.5 meters, so um, we are actually looking at highway tunnels. Speaking of new projects, it's an elite group of possibilities for the industry's mega machines. First of all, we are looking uh, to Italy. We are having one or two opportunities where we might have a chance to uh, reapply it, but of course we are looking more or less anywhere in the world. No limits really. It needs to have the dimensions, of course. We are talking to clients abroad to adapt their projects to our machine. Ahead of redeployment, storage is a concern. The machine is still on site. We have stored it in the segment plant, which is also on site, so that gives us a good cover and we don't want to take it completely apart and, and, and store it somewhere because that doesn't do any good to any machine. Following its final breakthrough in 2013, the TBM, its support systems and its crews, and the contractor with its confidence to offer an alternative to the original open face design, and the client that had the foresight to believe in the alternative were all rewarded with three International Tunneling Association awards. That expertise is another project's advantage.